<clears throat> Tonight, on the eve of our third year together as a couple, I would like to report on the state of our union. I feel confident in saying that the state of our union is stagnant, but comfortable. Admittedly, there is ample room for improvement. This last year together, in particular, had its healthy share of turbulence. But I, for one, would like to acknowledge and focus on the victories that we have achieved, such as the dente we reached in July over the issue of making sure that used tampons are properly disposed of. Your promised vigilance in the matter has been greatly appreciated, and I have not yet again experienced another startling, unexpected middle-of-the-night encounter with the lining of your womb in the toilet bowl thanks to your efforts. And on my end, your hard-fought efforts to make me realize your feeling of insult from having a natural part of your body cause me such profound terror did not go without notice, and I hope the fact that I no longer regularly call your vagina the elevator from The Shining serves as a testament to the progress made on that front. Not all our conflicts have been resolved so successfully, however. This hole in the wall from the soup can you threw at my head serves as a fitting reminder of that fact. There is, of course, the infamous Oreo fiasco and the notorious bitch siege, which I will still argue that saying you are acting like a bitch is not the same as saying that you are a bitch, but I digress. And there is, of course, the recent and still ongoing sex sanctions, which, while yes, unpleasant, I do firmly believe to be an obstacle that we shall be able to overcome in due time. Though, in the spirit of full disclosure, I must admit that the most vibrant orgasm I've experienced in the last year has been a result of the vacation photos your sister posted on Facebook. And as long as that album remains public, I feel like I will be able to endure through this ordeal. Speaking of your family, I do want to take this time now to apologize for calling your mother in a drunken fit and chastising her for the oversights in your upbringing I've noticed and had to endure, such as your inability to place trash in a trash can and your utter ambivalence about touching your feet and then touching your face and my face without washing your hands. I realize now that it's unfair to blame your mother for your own deficiencies especially now that she's cancer-stricken. Your faults are part of who you are, and I, for one, know that I will be able to accept them and tolerate them until such a time as our lease expires. I wholeheartedly believe, despite our struggles, that with our joint diligence and determination, we will be able to endure for these remaining 11 months and two weeks. And with our lease's expiration, we could finally segue organically into the natural last incarnation of our union, the complete secession of relations that we each so yearn for deep down inside. And that concludes my prepared statement and brings us to a close. Now is usually the time where it's customary for the opposition party to give their rebuttal address. So. Honey Bunches, you have anything you want to say?